The next item tonight is the presentation of the Ralph Gould Award. I'm going to step over to the podium. On behalf of the Cape Elizabeth Town Council, I'm delighted to present the 2014 Ralph Gould Award for Community Service to Michael Duddy. Michael, would you join me here at the podium, please? say a few words. Before I start, though, would you please uh, introduce your family who's here tonight? Uh, sure, I would like to. My wife, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Duddy, my son, Ben Duddy, my mother-in-law, Penny Armstrong, and my other son, Sam Duddy. If you'll all bear with me for a few minutes while I say a few words, and then I'll give you a chance to say something. Sure. Um, <clears throat> Since moving to Cape Elizabeth in 1999, Mike has been involved in volunteer service to our community in a variety of ways. For nine years, Mike coached community services youth basketball, Cape Youth Football, and Cape Elizabeth Little League. At St. Bartholomew's Church, Mike taught various youth liturgy and ministry programs for 10 years. From the years 2000 through 2010, Mike served the town on the Conservation Commission and also served as chairman. To highlight just a few of his many contributions in that arena, I would like to list some. He was one of the authors of the 2001 Greenbelt Plan, which shifted emphasis from improving public access to open space through trail development. He helped draft the Gullcrest and Winnick Woods management plans and worked with the DEP for permitting of those. He helped to design and build boardwalks and bridges and trails at the Great Pond Trail. He helped to design and build Great Pond Boat Racks and work with the Sprague family to clarify and define public easements providing access to Great Pond from Fenway Road. <clears throat> he helped to design and build the trails at Winnick Woods, the Gullcrest Connector at Fowler Road, and the Wooden Pedestrian Bridge, linking the Stonegate system to Fort Williams. He helped to design and build the initial bridge walks, I'm sorry, bridges and boardwalks for the Highland Trail, and also helped design and construct the Greenbelt system at Cross Hill. He's led dozens of volunteer crews over the years with all, all of these efforts. Mike is currently serving as the town's tree warden. In this capacity, he responds to countless calls regarding trees and public easements and on town-owned land. He answers numerous resident questions about tree diseases, hazard trees, tree selection, tree care, and planting. He directs tree resource maintenance at Fort Williams and on school and municipal grounds. As tree warden, he has, come, he has obtained a grant from Project Canopy to promote restoration of the shag bark hickory tree in Cape Elizabeth. And he has obtained a grant from a not national nonprofit to promote habitat for the New England cottontail. So congratulations again for being the Ralph Gould Award recipient for your service to the town. And would you like to say a few words? Sure. Uh, thank you, Jessica. And thank you to the town council. It's a real honor. Um, I took the occasion to take a look at some of the other folks who have received the award over the years, and uh, it's a very distinguished, impressive group of folks, uh, from Carol Fritz to Ann Swift Kayata to last year's um, award winner, um, uh, John Mitchell. Mitchell. That's right. Uh, it's a great group. Uh, I'm not big on individual awards, um, and I accept this in the spirit of um, representing the Conservation Commission primarily over the years. It's been a fantastic group of volunteers. I remember when I first joined it well over a decade ago, <clears throat> Jack Roberts was then on it and very active. And I remember thinking, man, I want to be just like him when I grow up. He seemed to know everything about the town's trails and the open space. Uh, he was a great inspiration to me. Then as I got involved, um, hopefully I helped impact others as well. And there's a current uh, new group of folks on the Conservation Commission, uh, some of them here tonight that are carrying on the good work. Uh, in particular, Cape's a really special place to live. Um, it's a privilege to live here. I think it has been um, a great privilege to serve as part of a continuum of volunteers 
over the years who have worked within this um, large practical working consensus about how to be good stewards of our natural resources here in Cape. Really is applied to everybody from the citizenry to the town council to the town manager, Maureen, um, Bob Malley Public Works, and then our citizens' boards. Um, it has been a consensus that really prioritizes quality stewardship, all within the context of a respect for private property and doing things in a fiscally prudent manner. Uh, it's been a real joy to work um, in the middle of that for now these 15 years, uh, and the town has a lot to be proud of. But um, on behalf of all of the folks who have done good work, um, I am uh, honored to accept this. Thank you. No, the state staff is like have to yeah. cite the staff. Yeah. 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 Yeah.